screen. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Warriors. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance, so knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Well, I want to add also the damage that has been done on the inside. It's a lot of rubble in there, but they're continuing to go right at the defense. You know, with all the dunkers out there, some players make sure they don't end up on too many posters. Grant, you ever uh, make a business decision? Yeah, yeah, you know, I made a few business decisions through my career. Look, as a competitor, you want to make sure that you can play defense, give it your all, contest at the rim when you feel that you can. But when someone like a Vince foul. Carter in the First midst of insanity, foul. that's when you make a business line, decision. And that's a smart decision. Tucker, two shots. And he drops the first. It wasn't an easy road to the end. It's all tied in Philadelphia. That's the end of the third half to the score. Your Sixers, 47. The Warriors. 47. Here come your Philadelphia 76ers. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. We've seen Jalen McDaniels really having a great game. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. On the floor for the Warriors. The core of the dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay, the guards, with Draymond up front at the four. Jermichael Green out there with MP. Curry from deep three-point land. The long-distance three is buried. Three points. Curry's got eight. It just doesn't matter. Once Steph crosses half court, he's in range. Well, Jay in the last matchup against the Pacers delivered quite a performance. He added 13 points and stretched the other team out a bit, nailing a few threes. And when you talk about that game, he was just everywhere. Huge for his team. Back to you. Hey, he made play after play. Really solid effort all night. And he did it in a variety of... Of ways which makes him harder for opponents to deal with well he can do a lot of different things so he falls into these different roles which will it be tonight and it's mcdaniels off the drive and nobody putting out much of an effort to stop him surprising in a close game a lack of energy on defense on one side inspiration on the other devastation philadelphia has gone six for 12 from deep so far in this game it's McDaniels on the wing. Out to the wing. Embiid inside. Covered by MP. And Embiid throws it down. But it's all about getting ideal positioning. Once Embiid gets it, the D is toast. Curry passes to MP. Here's the three. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got four rebounds now. Melton outside. Three-pointer. Rebounded by Green. The Warriors trailing. Green finds Curry. MP outside. Puts up a three. Oh, another miss by MP. Now they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. Harden. And Harden with the slam. Oh, an athletic move by James Harden. Beating the D and then rubbing it in their face with the slam. A deep three from MP. They grab their own miss. 4-3. That's good from Curry on the assist by Green. Curry's got 11. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. And the 76ers call time here. Reed's checked in for the Sixers. Milton comes in for Melton. Poole, he's checked in for the Warriors. Outside Milton. 
A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. The 76ers making a change here. Melton's checked in. And Golden State also making a switch. MP's checked in. We've got the Anthony Melton. He's out there with James Harden. McDaniels out there with Joel Embiid. And it's Reed in at the four-man position. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. The 76ers have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Pass to Reed. Now here's McDaniels. Melton outside. Embiid against Green. Five on the clock. McDaniels from long range. The Warriors pull it in. Curry's got his fourth rebound in this one. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Tucker's checked in for Philadelphia. P.J. Tucker. To the inside. Here's McDaniels. Yes. And a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got eight assists in the game. The scoring is coming easy for him. Got to keep the ball in his hands. Here's Jay. Oh, rejected by McDaniels. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will have it. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated. Able to shut it down with authority. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. And the basket by Curry. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Harden, the pass to Embiid. Embiid drawing the double team. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his third. That's on Jermichael Green. Look how sturdy Embiid is as a shooter. Even with the foul, he's able to put the shot up. Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. A well, big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. Here's Jay. And Tucker pulls it down. Tucker's got six rebounds now in the game. Out of bounds. It'll be Warriors ball. It's one thing to get outplayed, but when you're giving away possessions like this, it makes it even more tough. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Two minutes. Curry passes to MP. Tries to break his ice. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That one on McDaniels. The officials were right on top of that. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Warriors. Their hot shooting from long distance has been the key. Spacing the floor and rising up with that confidence. And there's been another bonus to what's happened with them tonight, and that's the offensive rebounding. They're boxing out. They're getting up extra shots. That could be a difference maker in the result. The Warriors have got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. From deep, MP. He drops it from range. They've been battling all night. Now they're on the brink of putting this game away. No, great job of getting in position to win a game. It's been an all-out effort for the squad. And they were really able to find the mismatches they wanted and exploit those all night. Great execution from the players and coaching staff for the Warriors. And at first glance, it appeared to be an easy win for them. However, they had to weather some storms along the way, Greg. Yeah, in terms of competitiveness, it was a lot closer than the final score indicates. And so hard work pays off with their 26th win of the year. And against a non-conference opponent, you really want to win the first one. They'll go into the next one knowing how to beat this team for sure. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Stephen Curry. Just yeah. does a great job time of out, looking for out. space and then time finding it. That's taking advantage of what the defense is giving you. And Philadelphia calls time here. They're trailing by 15. A minute four left to play in the fourth. Let us know you want one, everybody. And now let's take a look at the new balance.
A big thanks to all the fans for being part of today's game. Please exit the building carefully, and we hope to see you again soon. Probably both. Uh, it all depends on the overall, honestly. Which part of your game do you... And even here, in the middle of the season, Steve, some players are really putting in the work and playing with postseason energy. Well, that's a mark of greatness in my book, Kevin. Guys who value every game and don't want any unnecessary losses on their record. So with Wigan sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. The core of this team all out there, Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Jay out there with Jermichael Green. Look at the last game for the Golden State Warriors. It was a win against the 76ers. Van Vliet kicks to Barnes. Pass to Siakam. He can't get it to go. And Golden State will go the other way with it. They're coming off that win against Philadelphia. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, having to manufacture points. It was really that second wave in the rotation that took the offense to another level. And so it's the Warriors getting on the board first. Achua, the pass to Barnes. Another shot. The Warriors pull it in. Oh, my God. They can't buy one. 0 for 4. Sometimes this happens. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And that sends Tremont Green to the free throw line. That one goes on Ananobi. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Great. When you look at Toronto, they have a lot of length and defensive switchability. They swarm opposing stars and tend to make it very difficult in those passing lanes. So great profile for a modern NBA defense. Four on the shot clock. Here's Ananobi. 
and the Raptors miss again. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. The offensive rebound. And the layup fall. Draymond Green. Green's got five points so far. Fantastic job by Draymond. I'll say this to you. He knows what work is. Nobody near Barnes. Barnes with another miss. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. MP, that's for two. It's hauled in by Achua. He looked just a little out of rhythm. He's still trying to establish consistency from there. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Barnes can't get it to go. And all quarter long, it's been the same story. Inconsistent with his offense. MB finds Curry. Shoots over Van Vliet. Curry gets the bucket. Curry. That's automatic for Steph Curry. His in-between jumper is super lethal. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's Barnes. Barnes with another miss. He has gone ice cold this quarter. Obviously not helping their cause. Curry dishes to Thompson. Back to Curry. Let's it go from deep. Trills the three-pointer. Five points in the game. Three. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up. A little more I'm sense out, of urgency. So timeout called here. The first for Toronto. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, I was able to talk with Nick Nurse for a minute. He said the primary concern is to prevent those easy three-point looks from outside. He said closing out hard on the shoot. Ananobi against MP. Fires from 18. Ananobi sends it back. Showing signs of being a high level defender. Ananobi can guard multiple positions and challenge shots. So with Wiggins sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Stephen Curry's out there with Jay. Then there's Gary Payton the second. And it's Green, and it's Green in at the four spot. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Siakam against Green. Fires from the line. Siakam misses. And so Curry will bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. This game against Toronto here, it's their first look at the Raptors. Yeah, and last year it didn't matter whether it was on the home or on the road. They failed to take a game from either of the two meetings. They really dominated them on both sides of the ball. We'll see if they had their number again this year. On an OB. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his second. And it goes on Draymond Green. When you talk about OG Ananobi, here is a guy who gets better every season. Works hard on his game. Smitty OG Ananobi from the UK has had a nice impact on the game. And he said he wants to grow the game in England. OG's hoping to open up some paths to the NBA for young players from the UK. And the Warriors making a change here. Even Genzo's checked in. Here's Jay. Good, and it's Jay. Green picking up the assist. Jay's got it, got eight points in the quarter. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And continuing to press their advantage. They're not taking their foot off the gas. Van Vliet wide open from outside off the mark. Warriors leading by seven. Here's Green. He's got seven. MP outside. DiVincenzo kicks to MP. Latre. 
That shot missing. And Toronto will come the other way. It's amazing. All night, he's been out of sync on the offensive end. Yet, they continue to lead. Van Vliet looking around. The dunk by Achua. As a distributor, Fred Van Vliet is so effective. He knows when and where to be his guys. On the wing, MV. Covered by Barnes. Kept alive. Outside for Curry. Cranes the three-pointer. Curry's got 13 points. Silky shot by Steph Curry. I envy his three-point abilities. Here's Siakam. The Warriors pull it in. Green's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Inside. Here's DiVincenzo. Oh, my goodness, with no time left on the clock. Without a moment to spare, he guts this one out. Coaches always talk about closing quarters strong. Can't do it much better than that. It's been all about Stephen Curry. For the Golden State Warriors. He's been amazing. Fans, we need you to dance. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. The forwards are Barnes and Siakam. Ananobi out there with Fred Van Vliet. And it's Achua in at the five down low. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. 
You look at the current stars in the league, Steve, and team compositions, it seems like the big man is truly back. Is it because he can do more things than just play down low? Definitely, Kevin. They can dominate with their size, with rebounding, and man in the paint offensively and defensively. But then now you have guys that can get out, start the break, finish the break, and knock down threes. And it's Barnes shooting it down. Good instincts from Scotty Barnes on the offensive glass, and he put it back home. Here's Jay shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Chris Boucher is checked in for Pascal Siakam. Kevon Moody is checked in for Golden State. Wiggins comes in for Draymond Green. And the Raptors call time here. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks, guys. A busy few years for Nick Nurse. In 2019, he helped lead the Raptors to the title. Substitution on the court. We've got 118 left to play here in the third. Porter kicks to Van Vliet. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Snatched up. And the shot goes in from Siakam. Siakam's got nine. Look at the effort from Pascal Siakam on the offensive glass. Keeping that play alive and finishing it. MP against Trent. Jay drops it in from 11 feet. Jay's got it, got seven now in this quarter. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for Toronto. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. And there's the pass to Porter. And Trent now top of the key. Over MP. Draymond Green pulls it in. Green's got six rebounds now in the game. Jay the pass to Wiggins. Back to MP. Passes it to Poole. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Poole's got his third basket of the night right there. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they've stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect it to. And so it's the Golden State Warriors ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. And with as many three-pointers as they bring, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. And don't go away. We'll be right back. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate, and how about the setup this was? At his position, traditionally, his job is to shoot the basketball. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. That to come into an opponent's game. building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't need home cookies <laughs> <laughs> at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful Good performance night, all the way around. And that about wraps it up for Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.